Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, this stuff smells like <coughs> baby wipes. <laughs> that is some strong shit. I'm going to pour my first drink while this is loading. Okay, that should be enough of the alcohol. Like folks are just coming in. One second. I should have broke the seal on these beforehand. I'm having trouble with the orange juice. Uh, one second. I'll use my blanket to get a grip on it. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. I also have this stupid seal underneath. I should have planned this ahead better. Hang on. Okay. That is so redundant. Like, the plastic cap on jugs is always, like, connected to that little ring piece on the bottom. I don't really see the point in having the little plastic peel thing underneath that. Because <laughs> there's already a seal. Okay, I got my four, first drink poured. Hopefully I didn't overdo it on the vodka. This is like strong level stuff. So, last time I played off stream, uh, I did a, um, I set up a, I, I did a quest that allowed me to set up a farm plot here. You can't see them yet. It's going to take them a couple hours to grow, but big hearty tomatoes are going to be uh, a thing here. All right, let's take a chug here. Mmm. I love screwdrivers. I used to order them a lot in Florida. They do the trip. Uh, they do the trick without tasting like <laughs> battery acid. Um, I got a little cup. I filled up to like a bottom line with vodka. And then I filled up like the whole rest of it to the top with orange juice. <clears throat> it's enough that it's drinkable. Um, I have an entire gallon of orange juice and uh, Kamchatka is the brand uh, 80 proof vodka with premium liquor. <clears throat> I'm going to try not to overdo it too much because I also need to watch my noise level. Uh, okay, so I've been saving these up for a long time. I've got all these little orange shrines everywhere that I never touched. I don't know if people ever actually read the, uh, the stream updates when I post them, but I'm going to be doing something interesting today. I'm going to be doing shrines while drunk. All those physics puzzles. And every two or three shrines, uh, I'll stop and let you guys give little turn with the wheel. Tell me where to go and all that. If there's something specific you want to see me do. We might wait until I start getting a little bit more plastered before we start doing that, though. <laughs> so that you guys get more fun out of it. Ugh. I'll try not to slack too much on the drink. <laughs> In fact, let's try to get my... Oh, oh, oh. Come 
Come on, close back up. There we go. You know what? To make this easier, I'm going to get a straw. I'll be right back. have straws. <clears throat> I was thinking I could just not have my hands having to keep going off the controller to drink it. I could just lean forward and slurp, but... Okay, it's one of these. I guess I should drink a little bit more for this one. <laughs> Already the alarms are going nuts. Okay, I should probably pour a little less of the vodka the next time I make one. This one's a little strong. I wonder. Shit, too late. I want to try to see if I can reverse them. Okay, that's too far back now. There we go. Nope. You cannot reverse arrows. That's a pity. Yeah, I have a bottle of water for after the stream. You know what? I was probably supposed to use these to get across. Or there's this. <laughs> oh, whoops! <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> second. I'm streaming, remember? Oh, you found a straw. Awesome. Cool. Come in. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now I can actually drink while playing. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> Whoa. Talk shit, get hit. I should probably grab all the arrows these guys drop. Not that it matters, because either way, by the end of this stream, I'm probably going to have all my arrows gone because of being stupid when I get drunker.
These guys have such awkward weak points. There we go. I know I said it before, but that one string instrument in the shrine music kind of reminds me of Zelda 2. Captain 4 Reaper. That's pretty good. These are good swords. That horn, though, uh, the enemy those dropped from, those are a pain in the ass to fight. I can get another upgrade. I am just two hearts away from finishing a row. I might just go for that and then go for my stamina. So shrine closer to the village. Must be because I passed it. it. Must be in a cave. I did a little bit of uh, off-stream farming. Got the cap up to three stars. Oh, except the trousers. I'll have to work on that on my own time. Um. I'm not planning to go past three stars on this because the four star you get like 80 armor and I don't want to make the Ganon fight too easy. Somewhere under there. You know what? I can't find it. Huguette said there was something interesting by the, uh... Uh... Where is it? Lakeside Stable, I believe. You get mentioned that there's something cool in a cave near here. So I might try and find that. Oh, you know what? It's part of a Gazette quest. I was told, so... Alright, where's Burb friend?
Am I, like, blind or something? Let me just go without him, then. I think Huguette said it was across from the cave. Oh, a beetle tree. I actually need another energizing beetle for my wild set. The energizing one leads to yellow. This is a good place to get beetles. Doesn't look like there are any. I haven't had a blood moon since I last collected them, so... I might have drained them all for now. Okay. The fuck? Oh, it's all electrical Zalfos. That's right, their horns react to the rain. They're not very safe to fight in this weather. Okay. Is there another one that needs a banana? Oh, maybe it was this Korok and I already did it. I don't know if I was going to open up like a temple or something. Like a, not a temple, but like a little like cave type thing with like a door over it. sticky potions. Doesn't look like it. Oof. <coughs> okay, how about... I'll just use one of these. There we go. Ha-ha. Yeah, 
There we go. I'm not really seeing any signs of a cave, so I might give up soon and just go back to shrine hunting. This is going to be a goofy stream, but it's also going to be an important one because I'm going to be getting a lot of prep done for Ganon. We're only like a stream or two away from that. Oh, hey, it looks like uh, I got some results out of that. Yeah, if you feed these guys uh, luminous stones, they poop out gems. There's one of that, that beetle I needed. Should be the last one. Where'd it go? There was a yellow one up here. That one got scared away. Lots of different structures around here. Okay. Yeah, eat it, you bag of dicks. <laughs> pour myself another we're not getting there yet Ooh, I almost tipped the cup over bumped it with my jug Yeah, I've only had one cup so far, Fluff. All I'm feeling right now is a buzz. We haven't gotten into scary mode yet. <laughs> Where I start acting depressed and saying racist stuff. <laughs> oh, that was a bad stream. I don't know why I'm doing this again. It just seemed fitting with it being the sequels of the game where I did it the first time. I, I probably won't do this again, because I doubt we're ever going to get a direct sequel. Then again, it might just end up becoming a Zelda thing. <laughs> I'm going to stir this one up a little bit. Oh, that's a good one. Just right. Oh, 
Okay, uh, let's do the next shrine. Something I've been considering. I don't know if my mother would be interested or not, but I think it'd be fun to do uh, a co-op stream with her uh, when that new Mario game comes out. <laughs> I used to play a lot of Mario 3 with her. One worry I have, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get drunk. I had a very big greasy dinner tonight, and I'm pretty full, and I don't know how much I have in me for drinking. Like, my belly's too full. And it would take longer for me to get drunk because of my belly being full, because all the food's going to absorb it. I'll try to make this a good stream regardless, as best I can. I'm going to try to do this without using the rewind. You know what? I'm a numbass. I don't have to use the end of the bridge. No, I'm not going to double up on the vodka hamster. Uh, if I do that, I'm not going to enjoy the drink. I don't want to drink battery acid. If it... Oh, okay. If it comes, it comes. But I'm not going to force it. I'll try my damnest, though. I need to get it up high enough that I'm able to reach that middle there. Like right here. That ought to do it. Nice. Maybe like the third. Just barely too short. Alright, it's the second one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this piece can't be connected to. That's the problem. Okay, okay. I need to do like a wraparound. And then connect it with it. Why does my phone do this? 
goes into sleep mode while I have it up on a stream. Like, shouldn't it have the logic of thinking I'm watching a video? Wait, what the fuck? Did it just loop through that? What the fuck? Oh, wait a minute, there's a fucking block right here. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm not even drunk yet. And I'm already being dumb. I can't wait to break my Hylian shield again. There we go. Alright, next shrine. I'm not really feeling the alcohol at all, to be honest. Oh, I hope this stream doesn't end up a disappointment. At least in that regard. I guess everything else about the stream would be fine, but I wouldn't be delivering what was promised. I want to live up to that last one. Well, I almost had it. <clears throat> Look 
Well, this one's easy. This one's very easy. <laughs> All right, next. Huguette knows where all the cool stuff is, but unfortunately they're not on, so... I don't know how good the whole segment of uh, letting people take the wheel will be. Sure, they'll be on later. You know, something a little weird that I just noticed, like or I realized, I don't think there was a single key in any of the dungeons. You got deleted. Okay, there's a lot going on here. start with this room.
actually. It's a good thing I did this room first, because it looks like I'm supposed to. up there. No, 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 I want it in there. I definitely don't want to point it at that last room because that's obviously where I'm only going to be when I'm done with the dungeon, so, or shrine. fucking thing doesn't want to sit straight. I guess I do have to use this. Just don't know how I'll reach that. You can only angle it like at a 45 degree angle and I can't even attach to this thing. I'm going to try to get the angle right on this. There. Actually reaching in that side though. Oh, I don't know if I can work with that. I need to turn it just a little more without it losing that angle. There, that's perfect. I want to upgrade my fan. I probably was supposed to go in here first, and I would have gotten something that would have been useful in that mirror room. <laughs> and shit.
You know what? I might not need these because I'm at the end. Oh, I do want to have it up high because. Okay. I see what's going on here. And then I hold it up to there, and it'll be level with the thing. Cool. Yeah, I do need only two more hearts. So if I finish one more shrine, I can get my first row of hearts finished. And then I'm going to spend all the rest of my upgrades on stamina from here on. I wish you'd get Ron because... Um, I'd kind of like to know if there's anything good I should do before I beat Ganon. Or I might end up just fighting him next stream. That could be fun. Built to carry. That's basically me and Tiff, too. Sometimes this build mechanic just doesn't do what you want it to. Good enough. It'll do it'll work, I'm sure.
Good. Hmm. All right, you're about to see a pro gamer move. Uh, that didn't work how I wanted it to. Go! <laughs> I need to learn when to shut my mouth. Okay, I can salvage this. No! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't roll up. <laughs> Land on <laughs> No <laughs> I'm just gonna do it the way they intended. <laughs> I just made an ass of myself. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Everything that could have gone wrong <laughs> just all at once. Everyone's quiet, so thankfully I don't think anyone is watching that. <laughs> no, no. I'm starting to say that for me. <coughs> <laughs> oh shit. This is my redemption arc, guys. Oh, there's one right here. These physics sometimes. I'm trying to use this back piece to so keep it from sliding off, but I might have to just work with it without it.
All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold it like this. Give it some time. And I'll use reverse to hold it while I pin the other piece on. Perfect. Okay, okay. Uh, where's the ball? Wait, what? What the fuck? No, 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 no. I did not give you permission to do that. Okay, you know what? I'm going to attach the ball to the bottom piece beforehand. That's what I'll do. Or... Hmm. I don't want it to tip, though. Okay. So, I'm gonna do this. For a few seconds. All right, now slide. The ball was actually holding it. There we go. I can get a little bit more shit face in this because one thing I thought that would be fun is doing the Coliseum drunk. <laughs> the floating Coliseum. A nice little sequel to my Lionel fight that I had the last drunk stream. One up it by fighting a bunch of Lionels. <clears throat> Breaking my island shield in the process. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pay a visit to Zelda. You know what? On the way there, why don't I do this shrine too? Might as well. You can finally see what Link has in his yard. Oh, what am I doing? Getting ahead of myself. Trying first. It's one of these. Shrine of Prisons.
<laughs> we got hydraulics on in this car. <laughs> Turn! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh no. Fan vehicles suck. I'm missing a construct in my compendium, so I should check these. Guys, I have an idea for a new invention. Hang on. Thing is, I need more springs than I have right now. I'm gonna kill these guys and I'm gonna build my new idea. <laughs> this is a battle of endurance.
There's a lot of stuff I could have played with in here that I didn't. You know what? There is a way I can do this idea with just one spring. Just a little change in design. Oh. Uh oh. It's not going to let me take it apart, is it? this one. Oh, I can take this one apart. Okay. <laughs> I can't take out devices in here. Well, in theory, this should be saved to my history, so I'll be able to pull that out. that in my compendium I know I have a few magic items in there but I know I don't I'm missing at least one of them all right I'm gonna go to my house get myself upgraded finish off my health bar and uh, then I've got a new invention to make it's one I think you get is especially gonna like <laughs> Even better. It's very, it's actually original. Yeah, I don't think the drunk is going to happen, guys. I'm too full. I can't pour myself another. I'm going to throw up if I drink more. Sorry. Hate to be a disappointment. Maybe tomorrow. I'm sure I'll still have plenty tomorrow. In fact, I'll definitely have plenty because I'm not drinking anymore. Yep, 
Okay, I have finished that row. And I've said before, I am not going to get any more hearts at all on this save. Because, for one thing, just like Breath of the Wild, there aren't enough shrines to fully max yourself. You're going to you're gonna end up with two hearts short, and that's going to bug the fuck out of me. So instead, I'm going to fill it out with yellow hearts, and there's a benefit to that. If I take damage, it still counts me as full health if it's yellow hearts that are damaged. And I can still do things like sword beams and all that, that like, you know, things that require full health. Even if I get damaged. And on top of that, I don't get the ugly unfinished row that stands out and sets off my OCD. Okay, uh. Oh, right, invention time. Okay, so, in theory, yes, it saved it. And on top of that, put one here to make a nice square. This is going to be an expensive device, by the way. should be saved from having my upgrades done so I should have saved beforehand just to be safe <clears throat> yep okay my upgrades done this is a good save Guys, this is a pretty big deal. I'm about to show you. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. Stream got closed for a second there out of nowhere. I'm I'm gonna show you guys how to build your very own. Uh, I'm not gonna name it yet because it would spoil it. Did you know? That monsters are baited by food, including fruit. Why would I have that's flat? You know what? I've got the perfect thing to hold this thing together. stream keeps minimizing going into like the video I don't care about what I'm playing I I've only got it up to watch the chat hmm that actually could come in handy Wait a minute. This is a Korok, isn't it? <coughs> Is 
it doesn't quite fit anymore. I guess it's just a beat up old roof. Oh, okay. There it is. Guess I won't be using that piece. Oh, hey, Kelton's brother here. Don't I have uh, enough now? I, I think I do. I have seven. I might be able to get the rest of that armor. I wonder what the set bonus for that is. That's a core Okay. This drunk stream ended up turning into a Korok stream. so scared of. I already had one, remember? I did something original with it, though. <laughs> Oh, fuck off. It's not like you need them. to get a good measurement on this. Nintendo knew exactly what they were doing with these things. They're just like, yeah, let's make something for shit posters.
That's still not enough, huh? You know what? I'll turn it this way so it's not sticking out as much. Perfect. Thing is, it's too low. What does the uh, thing over here have? Hang on, it's no springs there. I'm thinking. Okay, so monsters are baited by fruit. I was going to make a crusher that uses bananas as bait, and I was going to call it the Banana Slamma. <laughs> I'll have to build it off stream because I don't have the parts right now. I have a blueprint for it now, and anyway, it's like a basic idea. In fact, I am going to save this because I'm going to want spikes for it. I'm tempted to go fight Ganondorf. You know what? I might I might do it. I think I have everything I need for the true ending. I'm strongly considering it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I go do it? I think there's a thing over here I can do too. Fluff wants to see it. Alright, I guess the final vote's up to you, hamster. I'm in the middle. I'm not a yes or no, so... Out of three... We have a one. You know what? I think I am going to do it because I'm terrified of getting spoiled. I've taken so long to beat this game. Like, I'm amazed I haven't been spoiled yet on the final boss. Um, I'm gonna do it. First, there's something I want to find. I think there's one over here. 
I'm gonna do something that's been requested for a long time now. First, I need to actually have one. And you know what? Even though I'm gonna beat Ganondorf this stream, I don't think this is gonna be the end of the streams. I think I'm gonna keep playing and do side quests. Because this game has good side quests. They're worth, like, streaming. <laughs> well, I asked about that before, and apparently all you need is all the cutscenes, just like Breath of the Wild. So... Uh, I just hope they're correct with that, because that would really suck. I, I think so, though. It makes the most sense to me. In any case, I've got everything you would think you'd need for the perfect ending. I've got... The Hero's Tunic. I've got uh, the Master Sword. The Hylian Shield. All the memories. I'm a fully realized hero. We got one, guys. Alright, now you guys can stop asking for it. <laughs> Where are we going here? I got an idea. We're gonna do something original with it. That's what's kept me from doing this before, is I'm all about trying to be more original and not do jokes that everybody does. I know how to do my own take on this. Everything's lined up for it. <laughs> Mr. Hyrule Engineering in some streams, like some people making logic gates. Yeah, I don't know about making a computer. That seems a little bit more frustrating than I want to deal with. I just want to make goofy shit. And not like super techie stuff. Like the Banana Slammer, for example. That is a reference to that shitty old Donkey Kong Country series. sad. Poor thing. Yeah. I'll help you out. I'll get you I'll get you out of here. That tipping over just ruined everything, because I don't think that's going to do what I was hoping it would. Fuck. I was going to launch it away. That works too, Fluff. That'll salvage it. Alternatively... I have a better idea. Yeah, you're gonna reach your friend. You're gonna reach your friend in hell. How is that thing still floating? Well, it won't for long.
You know what? That's good enough. He's 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 in the water. We're just gonna leave him like that. <laughs> Sadly, you can't burn things that are in water. Otherwise, it'd light it on fire as well. <laughs> Okay, uh... Uh, I would like to get one last energized beetle. That's gonna be my last goal before I fight Ganondorf. I, I wanna get my, um armor maxed out for my Hylian. Well, not maxed out, but I want to get the uh, last third star piece. Uh, okay, creatures. That's what I want. Here. Um, unfortunately, I know that Beetle doesn't. He buys them. He, he gives you, like, shit for them. Uh, I don't know of anybody that sells them. I, I know that I just need... I think I only need one more, too. I'm going to set it to my tracker. I get a piss, guys. I'll be right back. I'm sorry about all the leaving. It's like the third time this stream. All that alcohol. I surprised myself a little bit. I, um... I teetered a little bit on the way out. I do have a little bit of a slight, like, minute drunkness to me, I guess. I can't walk straight. That's about it, though. Uh, I don't know how I can force a Blood Moon. I guess if I fought a bunch of bosses, that would take a bit, though. You know what I could do? That'd be fun real fast. I did enjoy doing these missions. Uh, I could do one of these real quick. It might help with the Blood Moon. Uh, you know what? Even cooler. I saw something in Hyrule Field that I never did. I kept saving it for a stream. And I kept seeing it off stream. Uh, I do have a multi-shot bow in Topaz. I have several multi-shot bows because I did a Coliseum run last stream. <laughs> or not the... It was like one of the recent streams. I'm guessing there's a trick involved in those. Okay, so something interesting is on this field that I've passed before. I'm not seeing it right now, though. There's like a bunch of people marching around on horses. A breakable rock wall and spam it for about three or four hours. The lag makes it force a black blood moon. That's weird. It 
Sounds like a big waste of topaz, though. Oh, this! Look at all this. This looks cool. What's going on here? This is like a regular army. I can fuck with their leader's pathing. <laughs> I wonder if I can lead them down the hole. Okay, I'm not gonna dig around too much of that because <laughs> it's hard. It takes Hi. forever. Ah, hey, Rink, hello. The last time we met was at Hyrule Castle, if I remember right. Hmm. I'm Hawes, Captain Squad of the Monster <laughs> Control Crew. After our search from Princess Zelda at Hyrule Castle, I returned to my monster fighting duties. Oh. At the moment, we're closing in on a monster stronghold up ahead. Once we approach their base, we'll wait for the right opportunity and launch our attack. Oh. I apologize if I'm being presumptuous, but running into you here feels like fate. I must say, nothing would be more encouraging than to have you, Hyrule's best swordsman, assist us. Ooh. If we work together, I'm sure we could bring peace back to this land. Okay, so it's one of these bringing peace missions. Cool. I like these. Having a squad to go fight some monsters with. I love that the people of Hyrule, just like simple farmers, are actually standing up for themselves. Hey! Like everyone's facing Ganon in their own way. And I like that. Link's courage is spreading to people. <laughs> Link has been a positive influence on the people here. Whoa, what the fuck froze me? Oh! <laughs> my robot has a frost emitter. I got friendly fired. <laughs> Frozen guy sliding around. <laughs> Victory is ours. Bravo, everyone. Hi. Link, I'm so grateful for everything you did for us. <laughs> if you don't mind, could you come here for a moment? Oh. Just incredible. No monster is matched for you, Link. Oh. Come to think of it, Link, I was told that you wield a special sword. <laughs> one that cuts down evil like no other sword can. I don't mean to be rude, but your weapon doesn't seem all that different from ours. Oh. When I heard about reveals its true power when wielded by someone worthy. Could that be it? Uh, well, I'll be the first to admit, there's a gap in my knowledge. Mm. I'm so sorry, I nearly forgot something very important. It's part of the bounty given to the monster control crew, so please don't hesitate to accept it. Plan to head southeast after this, to Fort Haitano in Nukluda. I hope to get the chance to fight beside you once again. Hey! <laughs> May you fight with the goddess Hylia's divine protection, brave champion. I love this so much. <laughs> A lot of people are probably just like, don't care. But, ever since Twilight Princess when I was a kid... I always wanted Link to have allies, like, fighting by his side. And this game is delivered by on that in, like, every single way. I've got a whole team of followers. There's people out there fighting that I can help. I love that shit. Makes the world feel more alive, too. Such a good game. I don't know how Nintendo's going to top this, but then again, I said that after beating Breath of the Wild. They're going to top it again, I'm sure. The next Zelda might not be so good, because Nintendo always has their ups and downs. It's just sort of the nature of their pattern. But the one after that's going to be another amazing one, I think. Okay. 
I've actually got another group I've been helping out. Paste in Cuda. Man, I've done, I've been a lot of stuff here. It's a lot of side quests. Misko's treasure. That could be fun to do in a future stream. You know what? I'm going to find a beetle. I only need one, I think. You know what? How about I go to the Great Fairy real quick and check? Because I, I do think I only need one beetle. Uh, it's just a yellow energizing beetle. Shit weather. Yeah, I literally just need one beetle. I have all the rupees and everything else. I just need a beetle. After that, I have a few other things I want to do for prep. But this this is absolutely going to be the Ganon killing stream. This is the one. I feel it. If we're not going to get the bunk junk birthday stream, we're going to get something significant for my birthday stream. And you know what? I've been really aching to fight this guy because I want to see how it plays out. Watch it just be Phantom Ganon. Like, it'll just be like the Phantom Ganon fight, but with actual Ganondorf. And it's just like piss easy. <laughs> I'd never play this game again if it was like that. <laughs> That would be such a disappointment. Uh, wait, what am I doing? I'm not even going the right place. I want this stable. I was a little off on that one. Oh, Huguette just popped up. Yeah, um, because of how full of food I am, I wasn't able to get drunk, and now I'm too full to drink any more alcohol. So I decided to make it special some other way. I'm going to fight Ganondorf. Uh, right now, I just need beetles. I, like, I just need, like, one single energizing beetle. I should wear stealth armor this time, because I saw a beetle earlier, but I accidentally chased it away, because I forgot to do this. Uh, I had a quesadilla texana at, uh, I can't remember the name of the restaurant, but it was a quesadilla with steak, chicken, and shrimp on it with bell peppers and a bunch of other stuff like onions. It was really, really good. Uh, and I had some refried beans and rice on the side. Very good. I definitely want to hit up that restaurant again sometime. 
Okay, I do have it selected still. I just need one. If I needed more money, I could also just quickly uh, beat a Thunder Gliok, like I've established before. Every Thunder Gliok you kill, that's 450 rupees worth of horns that drop. Honestly, Hamster, anything involving Mexican is just the best food. Tex-Mex are just plain old Mexican. I'm not disagreeing with you there. Like, anything related to Mexican food, I fucking love. You guys got some good fucking taste in cuisine. <laughs> it was my dad's favorite, too. Unfortunately, I really like scoured this area before when I was upgrading the rest of my uh, You get do you know anywhere where I could actually buy the energizing beetles? I Am just one short of getting a full three star set of uh, this wild set I gathered some on the Great Sky Island. And then I gathered some in this jungle. I don't know of anywhere else where I could gather some of them. And I just need one more. There's a Thunder Gliok if I need any rupees. Nope, I don't want to deal with you guys. You know what? I'm right here. This guy, like, gave me a hard time before. I'm going to get revenge on him real quick. Oh, uh, I'm going to want to wear... That way I can wear all my weapons here without any problems. I'm going to use the low tier Lionel bow because I don't want to break my good one. Then again though, I want enough damage to actually one shot each head. In Breath of the Wild, I think I remember um, the Master Sword not being bra breaking during that fight. And if that is correct, is it the same way in this one? Or should I do some weapon gathering as well for my prep?
Okay, it does break. Or it doesn't. I'm forgetting how I worded that question. You know what? If you were able to get through the whole fight without it breaking... Oh, hey, look at that. I better hurry with this fight. Massive sword has higher burrow abilities in general when it's powered up. But you don't think it can break while fighting Ganondorf. It didn't for you, at least. Okay. If that's the case, even if it does break for me, it should last long enough that I'll be able to get away with using my other weapons for the fight. Last final I fought, I mean, the last uh, Gliok I fought off stream. I was able to kill it before phase two. <laughs> I just spammed it with eyeballs before I could take off. It was nice. My, my last Gliok before Ganondorf. And now we got a Blood Moon happening, so I should probably get out of here unless I want to end up fighting another one. Uh, how about I head over here and I'll wait it out. And you know what? While the blood moon's happening, I can do some crit cooking. Really prepping for this fight. You know what? The Master Sword doesn't give as much attack up as the bar, uh, the Barbarian and Fierce Deity set. So, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to cook these, uh, Mighty Bananas. I'm gonna put this on for the sneaking afterwards. Overheal food. I think I have a truffle in here too. I should do that. Yeah, it's right here. Oh. Oh, fuck you. Ooh. Ooh. It'll still crit as long as the moon's red. Maxed out on meals. Whoops. Well. 
Guess it's time to find my beetle and get ready to fight Ganondorf. Not getting any blips yet for some reason. I should dismiss these guys just in case because they might scare the beetles. Oh, come on. I just need one. The sucky part is... Beetles disappear if you take them out of your bag. So I can't just cheese this last one by duping it. I don't think that would work. I don't want to risk trying it. In any case. Let's head further down this way. Come on, there's gotta be at least one. <laughs> Not today, cow. There comes my karma. the item again. I'm going to try this. I know what it is. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, that makes them so much less annoying. They aren't even challenging. They're just annoying. That's how they were in Breath of the Wild anyways. Now that we have Dazzle Fruit, so that won't be an issue. Blood Moon didn't seem to reset the beetles. What resets them then? Is it a time thing? I know there were some on the Great Plateau in like the forest area. I mean, not Great Plateau, Great Sky Island. It's like around this area. I'd hate to miss out on that uh, armor boost because this is a good one. Oh, here we go, here we go. Got a signal. I'm gonna get rid of these assholes so they don't scare anything away. Yeah, yeah, you're real intimidating. Oh, it drowned itself. Dickhead. How does something made of water drown itself? How the fuck does that work? If you look inside, it doesn't even have lungs. That is a pathetic creature. <laughs> it's 
something that logically should not even be able to drown and it still drowns. There it is. I see it. You asshole, you better not. Okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I would have been so pissed off if that thing chased it away. So even though I'm fighting Ganondorf tonight... I'm not calling, uh, you, you weren't here when I said this, you get, I'm not calling this the end of the streams. Um, there's plenty more to see. And just because I beat the game doesn't mean that we can't see more of it. I've been aching to kill this guy. I, I want to, I want to see how this fight plays. I'm so excited for this. Uh, great fairy, great fairy, great fairy. Right here. That's a good explanation, uh, hamster. <laughs> it diluted itself in the water and couldn't retain its shape. Apparently you can get the monster medals before beating the game this time. Hey, the monster medals are back. You know, Breath of the Wild, I was able to get every single one of those medals, except for the, um, the Talus one. I followed a map and everything of where everyone was, and I went through one, like, one region at a time, and it was, like, still acting like I didn't get them all. I didn't get it at all. And I just kind of gave up on it. I might go back at some point just to finish that. to. I'm not gonna, though. Like I said, I don't want to make myself overpowered. I'm tempted to get at least a couple pieces. I don't want to make myself too heavily defended. <laughs> I worry about making this fight too easy for myself. That was my biggest disappointment with Breath of the Wild was Ganon and it was just so easy. Maybe, uh, maybe they up the ante this time, but... I don't want to risk it in making this fight a bitch test. Looking like a proper hero now. Fifty-four armor is not bad. It's just six short of what the fierce duty set gives me. Okay, uh I'm trying to think here. Oh yeah. I've been saving this. I'm actually going to be switching my bow for a second for this. There's one more thing we need to fight Ganon with. Unfortunately, it would take me weeks to gather what I need for this. So we're just going to use a little bit of cheese. Just a little bit. I'm sure these things aren't going to be all that powerful anyways. So if they are powerful, then I won't use them. But... It seems like a good time to see what these do to the enemy. 
Oh, I need my friends with me again, too. That's another nice thing about Tullin, is he's always the indicator of when I forget to resummon my allies. Because I go to boost and then I can't. I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> So, this is where we went to go meet with Miniru, right? There's a new glitch down here that people found. You get might have seen this by now. We'll use the shit bow. Shard of Light Dragon Spike. Or maybe the horn would be better to do for this, right? Like, that actually kind of looks like a proper light arrow. So, I'm in a load zone right now. Whoops. There, here, okay, there we go. Well, we turned three light dragon scales into three light dragon scales. Unfortunately, I wasted two of them somehow. What's going on here? Why isn't it... duping on the other side of the hill and I'm just not seeing it because what the fuck is going on I have updates turned off just in case because I wanted to be able to do this you can't fight Ganondorf without light arrows it's just part of fighting Ganondorf <laughs> I could just use the 20 something shards and it should be plenty it's not like I'm going to use that many I might be too far back. You do want to be in like just the right spot. Oh, that's a Nadra. Where's the light one? Right here. There we go. Yeah, pretty much. It'd take a million years to collect all these normally. It's not like I'm... doing anything that crazy, too. It's basically just fast-forwarding time for myself. I don't have to sit on the dragon for eight hours straight. And I doubt these are going to do much against Ganondorf. I just wanted the aesthetic. My rule that I made for myself is I'm not allowed to sell items if I dupe them. I ain't a cheater. I'll keep telling myself that. Oh yeah, they slide if you shoot it in the wrong spot. do a couple more I doubt I'm gonna use all these anyways because they're not gonna be all that great <laughs> it'll just add like a little bit more kick to my arrows when honestly I'd be better off just using my sword
Have you seen this one at all, Fluff? Yeah, I'm a cheater with standards. I don't go too far. I've done a lot of duping with this glitch, but most of it has just been farming dragon parts. I already farmed dragon parts in Breath of the Wild to upgrade my Tunic of the Wild. I didn't want to do that again. Especially in a game where it's become even more tedious, in my opinion. Because you couldn't just... Okay. As an example, in Breath of the Wild... Uh... If you set a campfire right here and wait until morning, um, after the like, bike screen fades away, it would cut to the dragon right above you coming down to you. And you can hit it and then wait till morning again and just keep doing it on loop over and over. This one, the dragons now have a timer on them. They follow a strict path that is based on real time. And they recharge based on real time. So you can't just farm them like every 10 seconds. You actually have to wait 10 actual real life seconds before you can get another part. So there's no there's no camping a spot and then using a campfire to like cheese it. And in my opinion, like the new system's a lot more tedious because of that. Some people like you get are saying it's like better, but uh, I kind of disagree. Because if you knew the right spots to stand, it made it really easy to farm them in Breath of the Wild. Okay, anyways. Uh, I think I have everything I want. I am a fully realized hero of time now. Got my armor upgraded. I'll save that sword for Ganon. Unfortunately, Hamster, you can't dupe the Master Sword, and I'll show you why. Okay, I'm at full health, right? Here's what happens when you try to throw the Master Sword. You just shoot beams, and the beams only work if you have full health. Um, there are glitches to lose your Master Sword in Breath of the Wild, and I imagine people have probably found some in this game, but... I'm good. I only need one. Uh, I only need one master sword for this fight. I'm about to fight Ganon. This is it. So do I enter from here, or do I need to enter from up here? If I have to enter from up here, that's kind of scary because I've actually gone down here on like the second stream. <laughs> Requires restarting the game, but it's very tedious. Oh, there is a glitch for it, huh? <laughs> Not surprising. People are finding glitches for everything. There's, there's people in this world that just see everything as ones and zeros. They're just fucking computer wizards. I'm able to dupe the Master Sword from the intro at the beginning and bring it into the main game, but it was patched. And that Master Sword was unbreakable. Damn. Oh, that sounds really good. It's a pity I missed out on that one. <laughs> That'd be a fun one to do in another save. You do need to dive the castle beneath the castle. Wow, guys, I I came so close before to that, like just bumping in again, and then I was right to be worried about going down there. That was like stream two or three when I went down here <laughs> and I fought the silver Lionel. There was my uh, 2020 stream, if you guys remember. The New Year's stream where I just did a bunch of stupid glitches and fucking around. I wouldn't have made it through. Ah, uh, that's like stuff I need to protect me from that. Good. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you did mention it's really fucking hard. I'm looking forward to that, by the way. The gauntlet leading up to Ganon. This is going to be good shit.
Um, oh, okay, that was a freeze. Gloom's approach. There's all those shock like likes. <coughs> I'm always telling myself that I've never gotten a picture of them, but I did. Yeah, even every other depth trip I've had, I've never seen a freeze like that. That was a extra long one. The game was just like so hyped up that it couldn't handle itself. Well, I guess that's a chest that I'm not going to be getting. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> it's just going to be a junk weapon anyways. Moving forward. There's the horror blend room. I remember this giving me a hard time. <laughs> That one dink that just sits up there throwing rocks. They kept busting my head. Good block, guys. Protecting their captain. Oh, we got a silver. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I don't have a weapon equip. Oh, that's what that is. It's like the, uh... Blade Masters do. That's cool. That's very cool. Looks like the uh, pummeler I gave them is broken. I'll make them a new one. You know what? Why don't you go ahead and take... Wait, what? There we go. Yeah, just... Give yourself some reach. That should pair well with the, uh... Also, I don't want that. That's a junk. It sucks that Horriblins always have stuff attached to their weapons. Usually, anyways. Can't really do much with the drops from those. I'm going to make this into, you know what, shockly acorn would be pretty sweet. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, I assume I'm going the right way, because this seems to be the only way. At least I thought it was. Hang on, hang on. There's a thing up there. That's right. I'm, I'm forgetting the path that I took. I think I'm getting close to that first silver Lionel. I killed that on, like, stream two or three. And then I came to the conclusion that I was at a dead end and left. Get away from me. I'm gonna have to eat one of those, uh... Gloom foods. Oh, this is the one. I did go a little past this guy. I think I was having a hard... You know what? I think what I did, I got further and decided I was having a hard time and left. I came to the decision that I was probably getting close to Ganondorf and I didn't want to uh, face him on the such an early stream. Uh, I think... Uh, you know what? I got this. I'm not going to use my elemental sword, though. That would be a waste. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and wear my... I, I keep pausing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to wear this up until I get to Ganon. Might as well get through these guys faster. It's not even like these guys are hard. It's funny, my first Lionel in Breath of the Wild, my first playthrough that was completely off screen. Um, wow, nice shot, Tully. My first Lionel took me like an hour, an hour and a half, probably two hours. It was a long fucking time. It felt like an eternity. Oh, I didn't have my sword out, so I don't think I can flurry rush. Yeah, I think I'm good on Terraria for a good while. That does sound interesting though, Fluff. I couldn't even see what he's doing because of my teammates. When it comes to fighting Lionels, these guys can be a lot more of a hindrance than a help. There we go. Spamming no bullet in AR-15. That'd be a fucking funny glitch. A glitch that makes it so, um, Yonobo's always active and you just keep spamming A. And it's just like duping Yonobo's. <laughs> I want that glitch. <laughs> you know what? I think it's time to put... Crust Shield... Out to pasture. Because we got a savage Lionel shield now. And these look pretty cool. Hang on. Let's see if I have anything that's worth attaching to it. I could. Hang on. I have an interesting idea here. What if I, like, barbed it, and that could be, like, a shield bash weapon? That did not do what I was hoping it would do. That is a massive disappointment. I was hoping that it would point out, like, a bayonet, so that when I do my shield bash, it would be a weapon. 
That would be cool, but uh, no, nope. disappointment. Okay. Yeah, all of the um, champion powers have a cooldown. Uh, the one exception for Yunobo is for Yunobo. Um, you can spam him if you're on a vehicle. He'll attach to your vehicle and just keep being spammable on it. Which is actually pretty fucking cool. Bosses are all fused together because the lead dev is a shit poster. <laughs> That's amazing. Remember this room. Up there is around where I got to. Looks like I don't have to go the long way. Okay, I might have to go the long way, guys. Climb in me now. I'll just climb up. Up there's also the correct path. Oh my god, I was on the way to Ganon last time. I really was. You told me that there's no way to accidentally stumble into him, so I was just so sure of myself that I just decided to go in here and check it out. Because I wanted to see more of the depths. <laughs> found myself on the way to Ganon. Imagine if I actually was, like, skilled enough to make it. <laughs> the screaming that you guys would have heard. I would have been screaming like a little girl. <laughs> you can definitely use recall. Yeah, it's just hard with the tumbling. I've got enough climb to just climb up. Oh, I was, uh... I might just go the long way. Because there's a lot of shit here. Yeah, fuck it, I have gloom resist food, or restore food, I mean. Yeah, I just lost one heart, that's fine. Before I fight Ganon, I'll have my gloom food ready. Come on. No! Alright, I'm gonna try this again. Wrong one. Oh, I did it. I managed to climb it. Get up there, Link. What are you doing? I'm just gonna go the, like, pathway. There's like a pathway up here somewhere. That's what I used the first time. If I can remember where it was. Oh, it's down here, I think. This is it. I think. No, that's where I came down from. I think it is on this level, though. I didn't mean to do that. Hit the wrong button. Just 
that the only way up? Because it seems so sketchy. I remember there being like a little pathway in a tunnel. I have an idea. Whoa, whoa, what? Connect the troll. What the fuck? Oh, I accidentally hit the amiibo thing. I have an idea to make this less tumbly. I just need to catch it before it lands on the rough surface and place it. Oh, come on. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna jump from here to it after it tumbles. Or just get walloped by it. too much. Thing is, this one doesn't... See? It doesn't lift. Unless there's another one in here, I'm not... S oh, hang on, there's a third block. I didn't even notice this one. This one also seems to have some tumble. But maybe it won't be as bad if I just lift it up and... Okay, that's actually doable. It landed flat. how blind I am. My bad. Me and my shit eyes. where I just was. Yeah, I think that's where I just was. I don't see the blocks, though. That actually looks different. I'm gonna go this way for now, because I can tell this is definitely different because there's ice likes here it might be a good idea to heal I think this is where I rage quit when I was down here I just decided I didn't want to deal all the ice garbage yeah, this is new. I've never seen this. This room is brand new. I have plenty of gloom food, I think, yeah. Yeah, 
Get out of here. How did he survive that? Man, those Elphos are durable. Environmental kills are just not an easy thing to get with them. <laughs> they just don't take fall damage. The power of a sage cannot reach you. Oh no. I ain't gonna have my friends with me for this. Lizasi, no. Only Smolver gets that privilege. Oh shit. Could spare one of these. It's not what I'm trying to do. There we go. We have a sort of light. Whoa! That's what that does? Oh my god. Light things give you life steal. That's so cool! Oh my god, there's a lifesteal mechanic. Oh, I love that kind of shit in RPGs. Oh, that is so cool. I, I always love that kind of effect. Yeah, I think I'm going to add that to the Master Sword. That seems fitting, too. Adding a little piece of Zelda to the Master Sword. This one's from our fucking queen. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Time for the Master Sword to get a proper upgrade. I wonder if parts attached to the Master Sword break during the Ganon fight. I might do these instead of light arrows. That seems even more appropriate. That looked cool, too. It actually replaces the blade for a second. A lot of Master Sword attachments, they just add it to the tip. It looks like the horns actually function correctly. That's a nice looking sword. Get a little bit of Zelda with me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this is probably what you meant by me not being able to beat this before. Okay, hello. I think I'm experienced with these guys now. I'm just a little beat up right now. Back. Back, you foul creatures. Kicked another time, fucker. Okay, time for more gloom resist. Yeah, I know. I'd like to avoid having to do that, though. If I can. I want to at least make it to the like, outside Ganon fight. How 
you like bees, bitch? <laughs> 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 Kill him with bees. <laughs> spear to spear. I was hoping sidestepping would be fast enough to avoid that. And then I was gonna hit him with the. You're nothing. It's getting very blue in here. Seems important going by the map. Or is that where I came from? Some people liked the to hate on the 3D maps in Breath of the Wild, but I kind of liked them. Okay, this is where I came from. Like the other room, you can climb up here. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. There's a moblin overlooking the room. That's where I need to go. I bet. this way. Uh, if only I had Yunopo. They don't respawn with blood moons. And I get gems here and there. Or just shitty salt. Oh no. Ganon's last defense. A fucking gloom gel. Tremble and tremble in fear at the sight of my choo choos. Good grief. I guess just an alternate path. Oh, it leads behind the moblin. It's a way to sneak around. In my case, I can just bully him. <laughs> oh, I love this game. <laughs> Forgotten foundation. Whoa. I don't even see any gloom there. What are you oh, okay, it's hidden in the water. I was about to take a hammer out, thinking that was ore. Yeah, this might... You're right. I think you're right. Yeah, this is where I went down with Zelda. Is that a... There's Gloom Giddos in here? Oh, boy.
I'll worry about. Oh, whoops. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do for these guys. I got a special treat for them. Where is... Okay, I got at least two extras. Fire sword. They're not gonna like this. Oh, instant death. I really wish my phone wouldn't sleep when it's got a stream up. <laughs> Die. 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 I feel like I'm getting close to destiny here. Looks like you're right, hamster. The game ends where it began. crazy being down here again after all this time. It's kind of giving me chills. Do I have a hammer? I do. Let's not waste bombs. Too uncomfortable for you, Fluff? The music? Oh. <laughs> I'm guessing I fight him where I first encountered him. Imprisoning chamber. This is it. That's where Ganondorf went down. The next drop after this one. Oh boy, it's getting very red down here. Gloom's Lair. Sounds like Gloom Slayer, which is what I'm here to do. Zelda's torch. I'll wait until I need to actually eat some. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting ready.
Well, guys, this has been one hell of a ride. Here goes nothing. Honestly, I probably could have made this in my first stream. I just ran out of arrows. This part's probably what would have been my stop. Oh, it's a boss gaunt. Oh, that's right. There's a boss gauntlet if you don't do the boss. Here we go. I had a feeling this was going to happen. Hey, trailer shot. Music's too loud for the voices. <laughs> Nintendo still needs to figure out their voice mixing. They got the same problem as the old Sonic Adventure games where it's like they're being drowned out by the music. <laughs> the Demon King's army. The mech, you weren't here for that shrine, uh, that fluff? Um, we did that fifth dungeon and we got Minoru as a sage. And her ability is super cool. It's a mech that I can ride in. And her gimmick is I can attach parts to her. It's basically the same mech as, uh... Uh... What's his name? Koga. It's like the mech that Koga was using. Actually, this might be a good time to use it. Make more use of our parts. The only sage who actually always is by your side on the field and not just a ghost. Which is funny because she's the only one who's actually dead. <laughs> Might be a good time to start eating some of these. Overfill my health a little. Oh, I'm sorry, Sidon. I didn't think that would hurt you. <laughs> I just blew up Sidon. Lots of arrows. Everybody wants to fuck the goat. Nobody gives any credit to Riju. We have to save Zelda and replace Minero with her. Link just doesn't know what she has. Eh, I'd take Zelda over a goat. Mech controlled by Avengel. Also, that kind of feels like a spoiler. So, I, I guess I'm saving Zelda. She's not going to be stuck in a dragon forever. Alright. That's kind of... 
I thought we were going to get a bittersweet ending. I guess that surprise is taken away. Oh, I gotcha. I need a new uh, weapon. That shield, uh, that spear ought to do. Man. I'm gonna have to do some cooking after. Do I have any? Hang on. Ah, uh, I don't have any cooking pots. I'm gonna have to make use of that uh, medallion after all. Okay, uh. I'm gonna make this a, a an ice spear, I think. Yeah. It's always good. Frozen enemies get critted. It's like double damage or something. Oh, I can't leave from here? Okay. I should be fine. Yeah, watch. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm, it's gonna turn. I un underestimated the final boss, and Ganondorf's actually gonna whoop my ass. It's so nice to have all my friends here, though. <laughs> Here's the question though. These guys are here. Why don't they project their spirits as well and double themselves? Oh. parts while I can. Oh, okay. My team's too good. I want this, like, vine shit to go out of the way and just hear Ganon's voice just go, come. Come. Like all the sages did. <laughs> that gloom. It means but one thing. The demon king is there. Oh. This happens even if you beat them all. Cool. Safe, guys. I'm kind of disappointed that it would have been kind of cool to fight all the bosses at the same time. Like, that would have been really chaotic.
Man, now I'm worried about them. I know this game's not afraid to get dark. I want my friends to be okay. I guess it's just me and Ganondorf. Yeah, I wouldn't want the answer if even if even if you had it fluff. I wasn't like asking for a response on that. I I don't want any spoilers. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. I'm shaking. How disappointing. This world should be shrouded in darkness, not bathed in insufferable light. Loving cowards running rampant. It would have been more satisfying to overcome a worthy foe. Alright, I will not be looking at chat for this fight. I know you guys have a hard time not backseating. <laughs> of King's Revival. And the birth of his new world. <laughs> there we go. Cool shot. Okay, one thing. This is important. <laughs> Holy shit, he hits hard. Oh, I'm not wearing armor, though. Not only did that hurt, but it did gloom damage. I might have fucked myself by dicking around like that. I can't save. Can these? No, they can't. That's too bad. The overheal foods cannot. Okay, I guess the most I can do is just... Uh... Oh, he can flurry rush. Oh, okay, there's gloom in there. I need to get out of that. 
Okay, he's got multiple weapons, too. Okay, this feels like a proper fight. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, he's confident. Okay, flurry rushes are my friend. This, this is too easy so far, as far as his health going down. There's definitely going to be another phase after this health bar is empty. Surges in my veins. And I am not even near the limits of my power. Oh, Matt Mercer's so good. Here we go. Demise time. Wonder if there's another picture for this. I'll take a serious picture this time if there is. Enjoy these fun moments. You'll be taking far more than your own this time. Oh my god, I didn't even notice the health bar. <laughs> That's a good shot. He always goes for a lunge after he flurry rushes. I gotta be wary of that. Like that. There we go. We settle this now, oh, I can't watch. I can't wait to see Vinny stream this. This is so cool. Whoa, 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 whoa! He did a flurry rush. Man, he's scary. <laughs> this is actually scary. I don't know. I, I don't know. I think this actually beats Twilight Princess's Ganondorf for me. Ganondorf fight in Twilight Princess may have been more varied, but this one, it's also like very like scary in itself, and it just feels so much more personal than the one in Twilight Princess. Like, Twilight Princess Ganondorf just kind of shows up. And that kind of makes, like, some of the personalness of it go away. Actually, permanently shatters your hearts and reduce your max health. Yeah, exactly. Here I am reading chat when like I said I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, now we got another phase. Whoa! What'd you do to my friends? Oh, I hope they're okay and just knocked out. Oh, 
Oh, this is so cool. Here we go. There's a bit of the Calamity Ganon theme from Breath of the Wild. I could have knocked those back, I think. I got too scared. I gotta learn the timing with him. It's just hard because he keeps changing weapons. Okay, okay. I'm probably not gonna survive this. He broke my he, he broke my Hylian <laughs> Oh, okay, that was a vertical slash. That's, he's gonna dodge this again. Yep. I can knock him back. Classic Ganondorf. Whoa, okay. I'm, I, I don't think I'm gonna survive this attempt. Oh, okay, okay. I, it looks like he always does that after. I don't know how to avoid that one. That gets too close too fast, like too tight. Ah, he always changes it up. Sometimes it's vertical, sometimes it's horizontal. That was a vertical. Ah, I couldn't hit the time. I'm, I'm starting to lose it. I'm, I'm done. I, I don't even have gloom resist anymore. Or gloom removal. Oh, wait, I do have one. Oh, I wish I'd have noticed that I still had that. Oh, I could have really helped myself there. if you can parry his attacks to stun him. Yeah, that's my problem too. I have bad timing. I, I'm gonna try it. I, I couldn't. I tried. I, it might have just been my timing. He dodges if you parry. I don't know how to avoid that one. They're too close together. He keeps dodging my flurries. I don't know how to hit him. Oh, I, I gotta keep. I, I gotta keep forgetting that he does like a lunge, and that's probably gonna be a chance for me to flurry him. Yeah, he probably dodged because it's a Lionel shield. That's what I was thinking. Ah, I didn't do it in time. That's probably what you're supposed to do. Thank God I had that 
Last piece of food on me. Now this attack I can dodge. It's a little tougher when it's like that, but there we go. Stop dodging me. Oh, this again. Yep. I guess I'm going to be punished for not getting shield slots. <laughs> what you doing up there, Ganon? <laughs> there we go. Okay, you have to double dodge him. Gotcha, fucker. Oh my god, is he doing it? He's gonna turn into a dragon, isn't he? He's gonna swallow the stone. Holy shit! Evil dragon Ganon. Holy shit, it's got a bit of pig Ganon in there. They're immortal, yes, that is correct, Fluff. Oh, I bet you Zelda's gonna come into play here. Dragon versus dragon. Zelda and Link working together with Zelda as a fucking immortal dragon. Fighting an immortal beast Ganon. Yeah, it's like Calamity Ganon made into a dragon. You're right. The maliciness of it. Maliciness. Fuck this game for making that a word. <laughs> oh my god, I just had the realization. This probably means we're actually going to get that fight where you climb Ganondorf like they almost did with Ocarina of Time. Hamster, shut the fuck up. Ganon, dragon, and Zelda dragon fall in love and have dragon sex. No! No! Oh, shit. Okay, he's not just malice. Oh my god, <laughs> yes! Holy shit! Oh my god, this is so cool!
I guess we got one more picture to take. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm tearing up. I feel so ridiculous right now. <laughs> Holy shit. So many things that I've always wanted out of the series were ticked off in this game. Seems I can't take out my camera here. There's weak points on him. This is just like farming materials from the usual dragons. Only this time I don't have any, uh, winds helping me. Yeah, it took some time to get to the good stuff. I'm very, very blown away by this game. Hang on. No, we're doing this. That's not the type of material I want. Oh, wrong button. Wrong material. Zelda? Zelda? Oh, oh, help me, help me. Zelda, no! I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I think I have stamina regen food. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die. Come on, girl, give me a hand. Thank you. <laughs> that was close. Good thing I had that. The way they're swirling around each other right now. This is kind of tough. I just realized I got healed. I'm gonna do this to make sure it stays that way. Wait a minute, what? You can't eat more than one overheal? Okay. That's good to know for future reference. Get another nine minute attack up. Watch my stamina. Yeah, we got the Zelda. So far, this isn't so hard, it's just kind of slow. It's like the last hurrah, basically. Oh, that one's busted, I think. Zelda? You gonna give me a ride here? Thank you. I'm making it slower on purpose. Wait, is there a better way to do this? I got the impression you're just supposed to jump off and shoot the weak points. 
Can I, wait, can I like shoot arrows while I'm riding? Then I was back and attacked on the massive. Oh, okay. I, I figured I was taking gloom damage, and I didn't know if it was safe. Okay. Okay, so I do have somewhere to stand, so I can take a picture. Earlier, it looked like I was taking gloom damage being on him, so I wasn't sure I could do that. Okay, that's good to know. I'm not even upset about that because uh, being told to me because it's not even like this is that tough. It, this feels very um, last hurrah to me. Like I already got past the hard part. Now it's the part where I just whoop his ass. I can stand on Zelda's head, uh, like, without flying off. Hang on. No, the music sounds fine for me. Zelda. Zelda. Come on, get me. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, the thing is, I'm either clinging to her... Hang on, maybe I can stand on her here? Okay, okay, now I have a way to stand on her. I'll wait for him to come back around. to pick me up again, Zelda. Uh, hello. selfie on his head. That would be pretty funny, but I don't know if I'd be able to. I'm not gonna toy around too much. I'm gonna get my picture and then beat this guy. Time for justice. Good enough. I'll take what I can get. There was like one more tick box this game could hit for me. And that would be uh, post game. I would really love to see a Zelda game that actually gives you post game. Let me save after beating Ganon. And actually continue playing in the world after he's beat. I'm not really expecting it though. This doesn't really feel like a Nintendo thing. Oh, here I am going into that again. Making it hard for myself still. Looks like I just have one more piece to break. wasn't the last piece. Maybe I have to aim for his head now. Yup, there's a spot on his head. Alright, Zelda. I need one last pick-me-up.
Thanks, girl. Let's do this. Holy shit. Can you imagine if that wasn't scripted? And I was actually getting a blood moon. <laughs> it like resets the entire boss. Like I have to fight like regular Ganon again. With all my weapons busted. <laughs> Okay, now I'm getting some Sonic Adventure 2 vibes here. Dodging the giant lizard's laser beams as you try to fly into them. I smashed the secret stone. It's over. We didn't really get a classic Ganon by any means, but this was definitely something. Yeah, get him, Link. Yeah! <laughs> Final attack. Dragon Slayer. Save me from a tail whip. That would have been super effective. <laughs> I think that's a dead Ganondorf. He's not sealed, he's dead. <laughs> we just killed Ganondorf, holy shit. Now we gotta wait for him to get resurrected again. <laughs> you get saying the same shit. Well, I mean, Ganondorf's been killed, killed before, and simply been resurrected. Oh my god, this is gonna be my, my friends telling me they didn't survive. Yeah, I have a feeling we're about to bring Zelda back. I wasn't really buying Huguette's comment about it just being a joke earlier. I'm happy about it anyways. <laughs> it actually was a joke. Zelda's gonna fucking explode here and there's just gonna be guts everywhere. <laughs> God. <laughs> fucking big eyeballs. <laughs> the most gruesome and graphic death scene ever, like, put in a video game.
I'm very happy about this regardless. Zelda didn't deserve that fate. Like, that's a fate worse than death. Just being trapped in a giant lizard for all eternity. And not really having your mind anymore. If you don't get all memories, she doesn't come back. Okay. I don't know why Link was naked for that. <laughs> oh yeah, he did get his arm back. <laughs> this is the part where Zelda fucking dies. Because <laughs> Link can't capture her. I, I, I want to... I'm not going to do it myself because I don't want to fuck my save. But I'm going to have to look up what happens if you don't catch her here. <laughs> I don't want to botch my save and have to fight the boss again. I'm doing it. I'll look it up on YouTube. You can't have her splat to the ground. If you don't catch her, they just stop losing altitude. Okay. That's disappointing. That'd be funny. <laughs> After all that, she just fucking splorts. <laughs> That's right. Grab her. Grab no, lower. Lower. You don't have to use go for the hand, because you just wouldn't stop it. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Her dress is wet. Your pokies. After all. Oh. He's gone. The Demon King. I'm not in a dream, right? You did it. Oh, Link, you really did it. Same way that I beat the Demon King. I'm just a Giga Chad like that. No, I understand. I had been sleeping all this time. But when I felt something, like a warm, loving embrace, I woke up. Wonderful people. I 
so high rule as it was. I have so much to tell you. So much happened. Oh, Link. I'm home. <laughs> nice. Zelda tells the story of how she lost her anal virginity to a goat man and how it was the best experience of her life. <laughs> what the fuck? Zelda traveling back in time and telling everyone about how great of a swordsman Link is makes him really the legend of Zelda. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Wow. This was a fucking experience. Fluff. <laughs> no, don't say that. You're going to get yourself banned. <laughs> Don't go steam hamming yourself. <laughs> Fluff doesn't have a filter at all. Well, thank you guys for watching, and thank you, Huget, for bringing us probably one of the best streams ever. At least on my channel. My, my, my streams kind of suck, so that's not a very high standard, but as far as my streams go, this is a pretty damn good stream. It's definitely up there on my tops. Link's Awakening was a pretty good one, too. Oh, boy, that was a good game. I need to play that again someday. Obviously, I wouldn't stream it again, because I'd be a little redundant, but on my own time, I definitely want to play that again. So that was a pretty sweet game. No post game, huh? That's a shame. I don't think we're ever going to get this out of Zelda. For some reason, Nintendo just doesn't want to do it. I guess it's just too much programming for them. <clears throat> they already did... They, they already made a mountain. That is true. Link would lose his abilities. Unless it's just a part of them now. Like it just infected his DNA. Now he has goat AIDS. Like a, mu I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna snoop, stoop the fluffs level. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm so excited to see what kind of DLC we get. Oh, this music was great. You know, by I get awakening as a sage. Bum, 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 bum. Put out your hand, Link. This is my vow. I love these characters so much. I didn't like you know about first because his voice was off-putting. It was like the most ungoron like voice ever, but it grew on me. And he's actually among one of my favorites now, like the coward that learned to find his courage. I like that kind of archetype. And also with the voice and his size, he kind of reminds me of Mike from that old Recess cartoon that he used to play. Don't know if any of you even watched that. <laughs> Yeah, Mario really is taking over 2023. This is the year of Mario. Uh, 
I fucking loved that show as a kid. I remember watching the movie. But yeah, Yonobo kind of reminds me of Mike from that. The big softy kid that was like a opera singer. <laughs> That is true, Mario did get a cinematic success this year, and now we got a whole slew of games coming out for Mario. Like, Nintendo's gonna capitalize on that movie now. I'd really like to see an open world Mario game. Have like, go-karts and Koopa clown cars for getting around quickly. On the other hand, that'd probably be a bad idea. Open world games can get very draining. And we just got a big fucking Zelda game. I'm looking forward to that after credit scene. You're just gonna see like... Just straight up Link Zelda fucking... <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Odyssey probably is like the best like formula for that. It's open, but not too big. And it gave you a lot of room to explore without being overwhelming. Uh, maybe more Mario games like that would be nice. At least in terms of the scale. Obviously do new stuff, like maybe instead of transforming into stuff, like, come up with other new things they could do. <laughs> They're gonna do a Mario game with building like this. <laughs> I would love an Odyssey too. I was so disappointed when there was no DLC for that. Like, I'm shocked. We got, like, a free update that added Luigi, and that was it. I need to stream some Mario games. I'd, I'd like to do all, like, the 3D Marios. Like, Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, the Galaxy games, Odyssey. I'm considering doing Banjo first. I've talked about my Banjo curse. And I'd really like to break that on stream. <laughs> what are these noises? <laughs> this is some penis music. Hmm. That doesn't sound like a bad idea, you get. Um, would we also be able to play games together with that? Or is it like Steam, where it's going to limit how much we can do together? Because I know you can also play games online with that. And I think, uh, I think some multiplayer N64 games would be a lot of fun. Like, we could do some classic Mario Kart 64. My personal favorite Mario Kart was 64. Uh, Goldeneye was a classic. Hmm. Yeah, I know that much. That's cool. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. I need to remember to cancel my current online plan. I, um, I got myself set up with the, uh, year-long plan for, uh, the basic. It's like $20 a year or something like that. Or 30 And I keep forgetting to, like, end it. And it's like every January or February I get charged with it again. <laughs> Look at that face. That's gonna get photoshopped. It's not going to be a gem. <laughs> Open wide, cannon! 
Oh, that's right. Although, I don't know if I would stream Animal Crossing any further. I don't really feel like there's much more to show off at this point. And I've just been playing it every now and then on my own. I might do like a return stream at some point that'll just kind of show off how my village is and all that. I wish I... St oh, oh, I'm going to shut up. After credits. I'll talk after. It's just, you know, about shitting. Oh, good, my friends are okay. I can't believe such an impressive landmass can float in the sky. Just when I thought I'd started to figure the Zonai out. Making my drink. I am glad I was able to bring you all here. I wanted to share this view of Hyrule with all of you. Whoa. I've never been this far up before, Goro. What a sight it is. And Zelda, you were roaming the skies all along? Yes, although I don't really remember. I never thought I would actually stand here again. Now Zelda's the one with lost memories. Alright, take this. This is only a theory, but... A game theory. Mario's power of light, and Sonya's time power. For Zelda to transform back, they both must have channeled their abilities through you, Link. Oh. I see. Now it seems. It is my time. Minoru! Do not worry. You have overcome the burden my era left to you. You have proven yourself, and you no longer need me. I know I can move on, join Raru and the others, and the world will be safe. Ravu and Sonia will be happy to hear of this. But Minoru... <laughs> and I'll let them know just how much you care.
Hey, Rishu, Zelda, you guys want to bang inside the mech? <laughs> Pura, you can come too. The ancient sages. They wished not only to save Hyrule from the Demon King, but for it to see eternal peace. I will dedicate myself to that goal. Now, and for all time. My friends, with all of your strength, stand with me. There we go. Thing about that though, the so-called sequel hook from the first game didn't even come to play into this. So maybe they just decided not to this time because they decided that anything can change with their plans. I am wondering, though, this could be a trilogy. Like, to me, it felt like they were teasing that the champions were stand would stand by our side for all time. Like, maybe that was teasing, like, a next game and that they would be in the play again for that. That is true. They have done three games, if you count Age of Calamity. Hmm. It's definitely a miss. Uh, that's, that's an interesting to think about. This could end up becoming a trilogy. If they do do a third game, I really hope that they decide to take it to another land. Like maybe Link and his friends are all on a ship together going to other lands. Um, If they, if they do a sequel, because I feel like we've done everything we can with this map. We're going to get really sick of it if they do it a third time. This time they did it enough new with it. Um, I'm open to a new story. But, uh... Okay, let's see where we are here. Like, let's take a look at my shit. Well, those people are dumbasses. And I don't think they actually played it. That or they just didn't get far enough. They let their opinions be like... They probably had similar mi opinions as mine. Oh, look at this. We get to look at Chad Dorf whenever we want now. <laughs> All 22 registered. This is really nice art. This is such a cool Ganondorf design. The evil man who lived long ago in the era of Harwell's founding. His legend claims that this Gruta man fed the bottomless ambition with great power and became a king of demons. He was imprisoned beneath Hyrule Castle for ages, but the magic holding him weakened when the castle was damaged during the Calamity a century ago. His power has steadily been growing since. Now he is revived as a great threat beyond the knowledge of any. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do, do a little post-game fun. It's a little after my normal streaming time, but... Let's just have a little fun now. I'll do that. All my pictures saved. 96 out of 110. I got some stuff to fill out. Okay. Um, Wow. That was a crazy fight with Ganondorf, too. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to make it out of that. Guys, if I didn't have that last piece of, like, Gloom Restore, it would have been it. <laughs> like, I took more than enough hits to die uh, after eating that. Yeah, I'd kind of like to see a new enemy for the next game, too. I'm always happy to see Ganondorf come back. 
but I feel like he should be a special occasion sort of thing, personally. It makes it more crazy when he pops up. It's like, oh shit, he's back. And not just like, oh, he's back again. Cool. Okay, anyways, Kilton. I'm honestly, this felt like such a personal and proper Ganon fight that I am even more open to just taking a break from him now. Like, this just felt so perfect. We got panicular hair here. I'm trying to say is, a Bacoblin's most distinguishing feature is its nose, which you'll find squished upon its face like gloof. Its ears, on the other hand, are quite foofy, and its horn goes zip. Mm, that description of yours, can't say I get the picture. Oh, ah, hello. I appreciate you helping me with uh, Madison. That was a tough, rough patch there, but I feel a lot better about things thanks to you. Ron sent us back to working on those dream homes, so I better get back to work, too. Uh, sorry if you don't watch out. I'll just... I'll start talking your ear off again. You've been a good listener. Thanks for that. This is Kilton. You moved to Terrytown the other day. He asked me to make a sculpture of a monster for him. I'm so sorry. I'm an awful describer of things. I would draw you a detailed picture of a Bacoblin if I could, but there's just no art to be found in the bones of my body. But fright not, I, Kilton, will describe the monster to you with more enthusiasm and more zest. Surely that will help. Mm. Oh, well, it would be better if I had a detailed picture to refer to. I just so happened to stealth a Bacoblin on me. Or not. Okay. I didn't think it would give me that option if I didn't have one. Okay, does it matter what type of Bacoblin, or does it have to be a normal one? Or can I just do any? I'm gonna go for a silver one. They're not hard to find. Fuck it. Any one of them works. Cool. Whatever the first one is, I see. Um, let's see one up here. Yeah, this looks like a very monster area. Seeing any sign of Bocos. Here we go. This is a terrible picture. It works, though. 
just not going to give Kelton the kind of description he wants when you can't even fucking see it. I'm surprised that counts. Yeah, I know. It has the exclamation mark on it. I just find it funny. Like, it shouldn't work. This isn't going to describe anything. It's just, you just see a little red blob in the distance. It's like Mike Wazowski being blocked off by the logo. He's like, wow, I'm on TV. I'm, I'm like, I'm giving him basically nothing and he's still going to accept it. Just full excitement. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, oh, it's the same. All the swish goofs and whiffs. Here you go. <laughs> Did you? Ah, that's just actually that's the goblin I was looking for. Oh, this is a good picture. Oh wait, that's Hudson. <laughs> oh, this is a good picture. Let me use it for reference. It's not a good picture, dude. <laughs> I can make a sculpture, no problem. Sculpture. Oh my God, is this like Wind Waker? Oh, that was like one of my favorite side quests in Wind Waker. Oh, get it made. Son and done. <laughs> Quick and quality. Blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Oh my god, is there one for Ganondorf? <laughs> I have a Ganondorf picture to work with. I'll have to save it. Son and done, as promised. I don't think there's a final reward. That's fine. There wasn't one for the one on Wind Waker. I just have fun collecting things like this. This very monster sculpture I've been longing for. It was easy. <laughs> now, pretty please, would you pick... I can pick them up. And put it on the stage over yonder? Uh. I'm afraid you can't do that. What? Uh. I got a rule against making that kind of decision. Too much responsibility. Not my thing. Uh. Well, arrange it on the stage for me. So, I guess this means I can have, like, monster statues attached to the shit I build. <laughs> Actually, he's a archer, so I should have him up here. Oh, this is cool. So I can make, like, a diorama. <laughs> That's so cool. There is a Ganondorf one, but I have to wait. Oh, I can't wait for that. That's gonna be so cool. That's perfect. I, I love doing shit like this. This is like perfect hobby material for me. <laughs> I just collect, I like collecting pointless things and putting them in places. <laughs> I got a rule against making that kind of decision. Too much responsibility, not my thing. Oh wait, I'm, I'm doing the wrong voices again. <laughs> you didn't notice what I did for you? Oh, such artistry. It's everything I ever hoped it would be. And so realistic, too. It's as if my nose holes might catch a whiff of monster scent at any moment. It's true. Even I could mistake that sculpture for a living, breathing monster. <laughs> yes, now we must show it to every eyeball in the village. Hear ye, hear ye. Come look and see. I present to you the famed Bokoblin. Do not fear, draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a creature up close. The only place. Ma. Oh, when you look at it like that, this is rather cute. <laughs> oh, the sight has stolen your eyes. Now give me your ears, all of them. Without further ado, this adorable, colorable monster is called a Bokoblin. They make house and home throughout Hyrule, and are perhaps the monster you rubbed shoulder bones with most. <laughs> Their large, foopy ears and cute, roofy snouties. One can't help but want to give them a tight squeeze. 
Sadly, their social skills are quite stunted, and it's best to look elsewhere for a friendly embrace. <laughs> Goodness, yes. I do feel like giving it a hug all of a sudden. Oh, I'm doing the wrong voices again. <laughs> look and learn. Then you won't hate. Understand what you fear, and you'll feel great. For those upon an open mind, wonders always await. Ah, uh, you don't think you can take him to the stake? <laughs> thank you, and thank you once more. I mean, my thought is... If you attached one to something, it would add it to your history. Thank you, and thank you once more. You not only helped my younger brother, but me too. Please, take this as a token of my thankfulness. It's a concoction of my own making, you might say. No, oh, well, you get monster extract for it. I get little rewards while doing something I'm just having fun with. You're a great artist, worthy of renown, and because of you, I've taken the first step toward making my dream come true. I have long decided to collect sculptures of monsters from around the world and display them for all eyeballs to see. I hope this will make, uh, I hope this will help shine a light on these magnificent creatures and the many wonderful ways about them. Mm. Well, the village seemed like I like it, so I could probably make more. Oh, really? In that case, I implore you to make a horriblin next. Horriblins have big hands, like foosh. And you know what they say about big hands. <laughs> 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 God, that's quite cool. They enjoy swinging from the ceiling. Oh, your description. No, I, I still don't know what it looks like. Yeah, sorry. So sorry. I'm an awful describer of things. I would draw you this detailed picture of a horrible if I could, but it's just... No art to be found in the bones of my body. But fret not. I, Kilton, will describe the monster to you with much fervor and many times over. Surely that will help. It'd be better if I had a detailed picture. Okay, this is mostly the same dialogue. Uh, so, Horriblins. I actually know a very quick place to find some. Right here. I'll do a few of these before I go to bed. <clears throat> The nice thing is, I don't need, like, every single tier of every monster. I just need one of whatever type of monster. And I assume the sculpture is going to be whatever monster I capture. Like, whatever weapons and type it has. Like, if I capture a white one with a spear, the statue will be a white one with a spear. That's kind of cool if that's the case. That's cool. Was it like capture the pose they're in or something? You don't think it does? That'd be really cool. You could get something in a dopey position and just. <laughs> also, where are my friends at? I guess I'm not far enough. Than, okay, there we go. I just had to walk another two, like two steps. Yeah, the um, the figurine side quest in Wind Waker. There was no reward for it all, but I just I loved it so much. I'm gonna go for a blue one. I think there's a blue in here. A blue or black. Just get something other than a red for the diagram. Oh, I think that's a silver. I'm 
unlike Wind Waker, this game actually has proper fast travel, too. I can go to anywhere at any point in the Hyrule and just quickly get what I need. It's not just play the Ballad of Gales and pick between, like, two... Like... Okay, two's being a little mean, but it's, like, like five different spots that are useful. I, I, I loved this shit in Wind Waker. Okay, this guy needs to go in the little cave area. Sorry, but no. Tell them fuck off. We get we get those pleasant sounds again. So did done as promised. Why this monster scope is more impressive than I dreamed possible. Come on, Kilton, you haven't learned. Yeah, can't attach it to the ceiling. That'll do. Sometimes they crawl around like that. Pretty sure it's okay. Responsible. Yeah, we know. I will read the um, the description he gives of the town's folk toke though, because that's always interesting. Getting some lore and creatures. Come and see. I present to you a new species of monster called a Horriblin. Do not fear. Draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a creature up close. The only place. <laughs> oh, a new species. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, this sight has stolen your eyes. Now give me your ears. All of them. Once again, this monster is the lovable Horriblin. This new monster was discovered in the caves created by the upheaval. What a stylish monster it is. See how its colorful hair sprouts from its rough skin? You feel the urge to reach out and ruffle its locks, don't you? Yes, I feel that same uh, feeling uh, so very much. And yet it might be the best to keep your hands to yourself. If you want to keep your hands at all, that is. <laughs> it is rather stylish. <laughs> Look and learn. Ah, you, you won't hate. Then you won't hate. Understand what you fear, and you'll feel great. So an open mind wanders always await. Alright, I'm gonna do one more. I'll do the Moblin. I'm assuming Moblin's next. Ooh. Hmm. This time gives it secret flavor. So you're here, I'll give you another bottle. Oh, this seems like a good way to get monster extract. <laughs> Hudson's getting into it too. Those aren't the exact words I wanted to fall into my ears. If those aren't. Yes, thank you, thank you. Maybe somebody will bring us another picture of a monster. Hey, they're not acting like I haven't been doing this already. That's a big help. Somebody brought us a picture. Why don't you ask? A lot if we could see a picture of Madison and Gerudo Town. Never mind me. I should probably try to focus work right now. 
You know what, Hudson? I'll do that for you. But first, let's see what Kilton wants. Cool. Oh, I can just give him monster pictures now. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got Ganondorf picture for him now. Oh, I'm so happy about this. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Let's hear Hudson's description of Ganondorf. Let's see how much he knows about the Dark Lord. Suave. Talus oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, he wants a battle talus. Man, there's nothing like appropriate for him. I just have him like in the middle of the field. It's not like something like special, like a tower or something, just to be standing on. Without question, this is the best Ganondorf design. Very cool. Good chance to get a good look at the design. I really like the like details in the face. Very cool. Alright, let's see Kilton's description of this guy. Oh, he doesn't do any more. Okay. I'm going to stop here for now, because it's almost 1 o'clock. <laughs> I don't want to stop. This was such a good stream. <laughs> he only does it for the quest-specific monsters. Okay, that makes sense. I can't imagine what kind of description he would have of Ganondorf. I don't think any anybody around here knows anything about him. It's just Link and his main crew. Okay. Anyhow. King Gleok is the last one he requests. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that he had one for Hanox in there. Um... So, he can do moss monsters. Ooh, maybe I'll put Ganondorf on top of the boss talus. The, um, the battle talus, I mean. Anyways, I'll catch you guys around. Oh, he can't do the demon dragon. Oh, that's a pity. Eh. I can, I, I still have plenty of ideas anyways. I'll see you guys around. This, this was a good stream.